What's going on guys? It's time for me to tell you the full story of how I came to realize my bolt had a problem and what I did along the whole way from A to Z. Since this morning, I've officially fixed the problem and I'll tell you exactly why. This morning I decided the problem is fixed. So when I got this car, mid-December, you know, 14th, 15th, I drove up from uh, Fort Lauderdale up here to Stephen City, Virginia, and it's about, it's almost a thousand miles, more or less. And along the way, I started noticing that, you know, the energy usage on the car was just telling me I'm using up 46, 45, 47 kilowatt hours. And I was like, all right, that's not right. And I was looking at each bar. And since there's 20 bars here on the bolt, I figured if you divide 20, 60 by 20, you get, that's three. So you should use up about three kilowatt hours for every bar, more or less, say 2.8, 2.9. I had some exceptions. I was like, you know what, if it's 2.8, it's not a big deal. But it was two, sometimes 2.1. And and I was shocked. I'm like, wow, that if you divide that by three, that's a pretty big shortage, right? And that, of course, made sense why the car was telling me, you know, I'm only getting 46, 47, 48 kilowatt hours of a battery of storage. So I thought something's not right here. I was on the way and almost home about three hours away and I ran out of battery 100%. Like I didn't have any percent left. I was dead stuck. I had to have a Ford Ranger uh, at like 2 a.m. in the morning, 27 degrees outside, tie the car up in the front to pull me to a local um, Hilton hotel and from there, I was able to charge at their charge point, level two charger. And that way I was really able to uh, see just how much battery storage the car could get from zero to 100%. So at 100%, I think it was at like 47.8 or 48.3, I don't remember, but it was 47, 48% uh, at 100% state of charge from dead zero. So I was like, yeah, this is definitely confirming I have a problem. So I charged the car up, of course, we finished coming home and then the next day I stopped by at the Chevy dealership and they said, all right, well, we'll diagnose your car. We'll see what's up. And upon diagnosis, they said, well, looks like one of your modules there, ha they had some bad cells in it. So we're going to wait to get the new module replaced. It's like a $4,000 part or $5,000 part. I waited about a week. Actually, I'm sorry. That was not a week. It was four weeks uh, for them to call me and tell me that, hey, the replacement module also had a defective cell or a couple of defective cells. So we're just gonna go ahead and give you a refurbished battery pack, um, certified refurbished pack. I said, well, all right, that sounds like it's better than the old option. So let's do it. So about a week or so, maybe a week and a half later, I called them up and they said, hey, your car's ready for pickup. So pick up the car, which was just a few days ago. And I started noticing Hold on a second. After about like two charges, um, you know, first one was down to like 20% and that charged up to 95%. And the car would tell me 140 miles to empty. And I would run it dry to 0% or 1%. And I would charge it back up and it said only 47 kilowatt hours delivered. I'm like, hold on a second. Was the battery changed at all or no? So I did it again. That went down to about 2 to 3%, charged it up to 95% more or less same results. I'm getting 47, 48 kilowatt hours delivered. I was like, all right, that's weird. And that's when I started interacting with some of you guys in the comment section um, uh, in one of the videos. Uh, and somebody by the name of Jenny uh, told me that, hey, um, don't worry, just run the car down to as close to zero as you can and then charge it all the way up a couple times and let the BMS uh, readjust to the new pack and by the way that was yesterday and i was like all right you know what you're right that sounds pretty plausible uh let me try to do that and yesterday i ran my car down from 95 percent to 0 0.8 percent so it wasn't even one percent state of charge and i plugged it up <clears throat> and um, i let the car charge overnight and i woke up in the morning and my Torque Pro uh, app said instead of the old 43 kilowatt hours that it actually told me I have uh, as capacity wise, 
um, when I try to check the capacity of this new pack, it jumped up to 56.8 kilowatt hours. It readjusted and it learned the new capacity and I now, I think, have a pretty good battery pack. I've driven about 20 miles um, from this trip here and on the energy usage, I've used up 12.2 kilowatt hours. All right, it's cool. And on the battery state of charge, I started 94.5, I'm at 73.7. So it's looking pretty spot on and much better than it used to be. Um, so I think this whole thing was finally resolved. And in case you're wondering, it was covered under warranty. Um, I paid zero out of pocket. Um, they gave me the new module, or it's gonna be the new pack. Uh, they replaced some hoses, they topped up the coolant, they, of course, gave me the software update for the recall, and they charged me nothing. And they were very patient and very cool with me. And the one thing I wish was they told me, hey, recharge the car a couple times down to zero and let the BMS adjust. But here in Stevens City, Front Royal, Winchester area, you know, at least the one I went to, the dealership is very small, and they have one tech who specializes in uh, electric cars. And... Um, I'm sure he probably wasn't aware or forgot to tell me, who knows, but um, I'll give him a call, let them know, hey, my, my appointment's canceled because I actually am supposed to go in uh, two days from now to uh, have them look at the car because I thought, hey, the pack is no different than the old one, but it turns out it's good. So I'll let them know what happened. And, uh, hopefully they will use that information for the future and whoever has a problem, they can kind of tell them the same thing I told them. So that's my whole story. That is my whole experience. I tried saving as much money as I can by going to Florida and buying one of the cheapest bolts I could find, uh, but it ended up being more of a hassle than anything. But like Jenny said uh, in the comment box, uh, there's some good that came out of this. So if you guys have any problems like this before, um, just remember what I went through and hopefully you can use it to your advantage and to resolve your own issue so that's it guys thanks a lot for watching if you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like it if you have any kind of questions leave them in the comment box below if you have any kind of video ideas please leave them below i'd love to hear them because sometimes i'm drawing a blank and i'd like to have more of an understanding of the things you guys want to see on this channel so that's it guys i'll see you in the next one